In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to add a door with entry-exit readers in the ProWatch system. This type of door has a reader to enter the area and a reader to exit the area. We will click on Hardware Configuration, and we'll locate the site where we wish the reader to be added. Go to the Panels folder, right-click, and do New Logical Device. Here we're going to give it a description. In this case, we're going to call it Knock Door. The hardware template we are going to use is an entry exit reader door. We'll verify that we are on the correct panel that has the subboard that this is connected to. And then for the hardware class, we are going to choose readers. This is the folder that will be created over here on the left to contain the specific reader. Next, we'll click next. On here, it says to choose a reader. If you notice down here at the bottom, you have a reader, a secondary reader, door position, and a lock. There is no Rex because there is a reader to exit the area. The first reader will be the primary reader. In this case, we're going to choose reader zero. And as you can tell, it automatically picks reader one as the secondary reader and picks the default door position and lock. We'll click finish. And now if we go to our readers folder, you can now see that the knock door is here. We open it up, go to logical devices, and you can see that everything is still assigned. Double click on the primary reader. You can go to reader settings, and this is where you would set up the normal behavior of the door. The strike time and the hold time. The strike time is how long it will stay unlocked. Once it gets a valid read, the hold time is how long it counts down once the door has been opened and it has not closed. Once it passes this, it'll generate a held pass time warning or an alarm. The extended times are for ADA, or American Disabilities Act. Uh, cars can be flagged with the ADA setting and it'll use this longer time period to give them more time to get through the door. Up here you have a keypad mode if it's a keypad reader. More than likely, you would choose a Hughes ID. That's a 4-bit uh, transmission of the PIN code. The LED mode is usually by color. The offline mode sets what the reader should do if the reader board cannot talk to the panel. It could be set to use a facility code only to be locked or to be unlocked. And then here is your default card mode. This could be card and PIN, card only, card or PIN. These are the most common. In this case, it's a card only. Over here is your card format that you would pick for whatever type of card that you're using. And then we'd want to use Weekend Pulse. Once everything's confirmed, click OK. And then click OK to save. For more videos, please visit https colon slash slash honeywelldiscovertraining.com. Thank you.